you've heard of colors named after alcoholic beverages, yes? Cognac, whiskey, Merlot, sangria, burgundy. Is burgundy named after a color? It's also a region in France where Burgundy wine comes from. So is it named after the region or does it all originate from the color of the wine? That's a deep dive we are not gonna get into today. What we are gonna get into is this box. How's that for a transition for you? In this box is a handbag in one of the alcoholic colors. We're gonna open this up today and compare it to another bag that I have in a different alcoholic color but I suspect they're gonna be pretty close to the same color. So we're gonna check those out. And I really should have prepared better for this video because I should have had a drink in my hand. What was I thinking? <sighs> Stay tuned to see what's in the box. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get right into this box. I am excited about this one because I have been wanting something around this color in this particular bag for a while. I feel like it's going to be a great work bag for me. I feel like it looks sleek and elegant, but let's see it in person to see for sure. So we've got this open here. I purchased this from a seller on Mercari and we have the ivory tissue paper which may give you a clue as to what brand it is there's a note that's nice from grethel it says thank you and enjoy it and that's taped to the bag so let's pull that out it's heavy here we go and my bag has been wrapped in more bags by the way if you need anything from target i have an affiliate link with them i'm happy to link it below for you anytime you shop at target shop with me earn me a little money even though i never advertise for them i'm just not a target shopper okay here we go we're getting a glimpse is this the front of the bag yes it is <gasps> this right here is the medium crossbody tote from portland leather goods and it's in the color whiskey that's right did you think it was cognac by looking at it you were wrong if you thought that this is indeed whiskey i'm going to compare this to cognac in a minute but first let's come closer oh my gosh this is so buttery soft i mean it literally feels like somebody spread butter over it. It's almost, it's not greasy or oily like butter would be, but it feels waxy. Oh, it's fabulous. Look at that. I love that it has these red tones to it. I love a brown with red tone. I also love a brown with yellow tone, but the reds are what I'm more drawn to. Look at just, wow, how the color changes. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown bag. This one is stuffed. Let's take the stuffing out. Oh, and as I did that, the leather smell. Okay, this pocket here. So on the small crossbody totes, they don't have pockets inside, but the mediums do. And this one folds out like that. So you can see, let me give you a phone. Put a phone up to this so you can see the size of it. So this is my iPhone 10. Would it fit in there sideways? I wouldn't put it in sideways, but I'd put it in like that. And that fits just fine. We have the Portland Leather Goods tag there. And look at the veining and the coloration in the leather. How pretty is that? So pretty. Let's get a peek inside so you can see that gorgeous raw leather. That is so beautiful. That does have a little yellow in it, but it is still red tone. Wow. This is such a beautiful color. Did I already give you a spin? I probably did, but let's, well, let's bring it closer first. You can see it says Portland Leather Goods here stamped into the leather. We have those brass tacks there and then this has, I was trying to tell if this was black, it's tonal. It's a brown stitching all the way around. And of course you have those brass pieces on either side of there. And look at some of the veining in that leather. I love leather that shows veining like that. Love, love, love. You have tonal short handles and you'll have D-rings on the inside there and under the zipper somewhere, can't see it, <laughs> right, right there, there it is right 
right there. And that's where you can attach the crossbody strap, which I'll do in just a minute to show you where this sits on me. The one I picked out does have a zipper and here's the bottom so you can see. Now this leather has a little more structure to it. You could smush it down, but I'm not going to because I feel like this is one of the leathers where if you start to wrinkle it, that you're going to start getting the color variations. Cause like, see how just putting my finger through, you can see the red come out more there. And I don't want to make marks on it. I like how it is right now. So I wanna be careful with this bag. I feel like this would scratch very easily. Oh, it's so pretty. Now I have a confession to make with this bag. I got it a few days ago and the same day I got a few other packages because I ordered them from Mercari and they just had sellers names on them and I don't know who the people are. I didn't know what was in each box. So I had already opened this and taken a peek at it. And my first impression was not good because in the photographs from the listing, which I'll put one right here, it looks much lighter, right? This is one of the problems that I've been having as I've been buying Portland leather good items is getting a true sense of the color. The thing is in lots of different lighting situations and with the color varying in different batches, it's difficult to get a photo that gives you a really true representation of the color. If you're somebody who sells things online, I would recommend taking whatever you're selling into sunlight or getting daylight bulbs, which is what I have in my studio here, so you can get a true sense. On my screen, it looks a little bit lighter than it is in person, but this is one of those colors that really varies based on the lighting you're in. When I first opened this, it looked so dark brown. I didn't have these lights on, I just had my regular yellow bulb up in the ceiling, and I was disappointed because it's not what I was expecting. I was like really disappointed, and I was thinking, that's not whiskey, whiskey's more red. This is cognac. So I pulled out a cognac bag that I have to compare and just with the overhead light, they looked identical, it's totally identical. But I took them in the daylight and what you'll see here, they are very, very close, but the whiskey has more of a red tone to it. I think you can really see that there better as the camera's adjusting and then the cognac is darker. So that gives you a good sense too. They're very close, but the whiskey is definitely more red than the cognac. And by the way, this is the triangle bag from Portland Leather Goods, because it's triangular in the shape on the side there. Here are the colors up close so you can see the difference a little better. This is cognac, this is whiskey, and it is really only in this kind of light that you can see those differences, but they both change. The whiskey looks really dark sometimes, the cognac looks really dark sometimes, and then they can each look lighter and a little more red in different lights. I also wanna to try to show you, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this at the same time, here, but I want to show you the colors on the interior. So there's this, this is the cognac interior, and then this is the whiskey interior. Okay, there they are side by side. Very, very similar, right? In color, very, very similar. And while we're comparing, here's the medium crossbody in whiskey next to the mini crossbody in mint, just so you can see the size difference here. There we are, and then I'll show you the bottoms. There are the bases to give you a sense of the size difference. Those colors look good together. It's like mint chocolate chip, but with whiskey in it. All right, I'm gonna put the strap on here so you can see what the size bag looks like on me. A mod shot. And the strap is adjustable. It has seven holes for adjustments that are about 10 inches apart. All right, here is the medium crossbody on me. I have it on the longest setting. So there you go. I love this size. I think it's great. I love this medium size for neutral colors and then the mini for a smaller pop of color. And the medium size will fit a laptop. I have a 13 inch MacBook Air and that fits perfectly inside. It's just the right width for that. I'd show you right now, but I have it plugged into some things, so you'll just have to trust me. So what do you think of whiskey? What do you think of cognac? What is your favorite brown tone? Is it named after alcohol? Do you even like brown bags? I love brown bags. What's your favorite brown bag? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Well, that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.